Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, I wanted to reach out to you guys just because uh, I know a lot of you guys, you guys talk to me a lot um, in, in comments and other messages and that. And I've had a few of you guys reach out to me, so I wanted to let you know I'm fine. Uh, dealership's fine. Um, I, I know you guys have heard about the explosion that happened. Um, now I'm going to kind of show you where we're situated as opposed to where the explosion was. If you actually look down this way, so this is this is Broadway right here. All right, the explosion happened on um, on Second Avenue, and they kind of they go in order. All right, so up on the other side of there is 17th. There's a road that's right here, and that's 14th. And just after 14th is Highway 40. So what you see down there is Highway 40. So if you're wondering where it is in relation to me, it's if you take this road all the way down to second, which is just shy of the Cumberland River, that's where it's at. So um, if you look, the easiest way to kind of describe it, and, and they build a bunch of buildings and, and everything else, and you can see all these cranes, and I know you guys know that... Uh, Nashville's kind of booming when it comes to that. So what I'm going to try to show you is I want to kind of stand here. If you kind of look, I'm going to kind of, if you see this crane, I'm going to use my pen here to kind of show you. Right there in the background, there's two spires that are, you know, side by side with each other. So just, just right to the side of the crane right there. And then there's another one that's right there. In the far distance all right that's where that's on second Ave. that's what's known as the batman building so um everybody talks about the batman building when you're talking about downtown because it's shaped like batman's head so that's kind of where they they get batman from but it's uh uh the at&t tower all right so um, people are saying oh the at&t building got hit it wasn't the at&t building it was a separate building that's owned by at&t so Kind of give you another view here you can see those both those spires right there those two spires that are up right there those are the two spires that i'm talking about so that road that that building is pretty much right next to the the general epicenter of it so um there's not a real easier way to kind of tell you exactly where it was at but that right there is where it was at in general let's put it that way um, as to how far it is away from the dealership. So, um, I mean, personally, I don't live close to here. I drive in about an hour a day. So I don't live like right close to the dealership because a couple of you guys have asked me about that. Um, I don't, I wasn't in any danger. So I appreciate you guys having a concern about it. Um, but uh, that's where the explosion was. Um, I mean, if you ever look at pictures of Nashville and you see the big AT&T building, that's the building that you're seeing is right there. That's the AT&T building. So um, I guess glass was blown out. Um, we kind of had a, had a thought that maybe we were going to walk down there today and uh, kind of take a look. But uh, more or less kind of people are saying to stay away from the area right now. It's, it's kind of blocked off. Um, there Obviously, there's an active investigation over there for it. So... Um, I, I didn't want to really go down there and be a part of the problem. Um, so that's kind of something that uh, I didn't really want to do. Now, what I'm going to show you here is actually something that's really interesting. If you look on some of the dark cars especially, you can actually see that there's a powder that's kind of come down. It's really, uh, I mean, it almost looks like dirt, but it feels like baby powder. All right, so it's really, uh, it's, I mean, if, if you, I mean, look at the windows, right? So this is under a light, which really gives you a, um, a an interesting view of the, uh, whatever it is. I mean, it's, obviously, I would think it's probably debris, um, but if you look at them, you can see, I mean, it's, it's all over everything. So I'm guessing when it happened, we were a little bit more downwind, but any of the car like i said some of the cars hold dirt better than others so it's a little bit harder to tell on some of them you know but you can see you know these these cars have that debris on or de i don't even don't call it debris it's just like a dust it's it's almost like a like i said it's like a fine powder and actually when you put it on your hands 
it feels like smooth. So um, I'm guessing that's either something about what blew up or it was something about what was in the um, the thing itself. So um, there's not really a whole lot of updates that I can give you that you guys can't find yourself on any of the news sources. Um, they, uh, I guess they arrested somebody today that uh, they found a, an image of the RV or what they believe to be the RV on Google Earth or, or sorry, Google uh, Street View. And um, I guess it wasn't there anymore. And they, I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff that's fluid, a lot of information that's getting out, a lot of stuff that I'm sure is wrong, which is always what happens. Everybody tries to be first um, with information. And it's usually they give up accuracy for speed. So I'm not going to speculate, you know, at least not publicly about what I think happened. Um, just because I don't think we're at the point right now where anybody really can be 100% sure of anything at this point. Um, so, but what I did want to show you is for, for you guys kind of, you know, that uh, that are concerned or that were uh, questioning where I was at, knowing that I'm in Nashville here at, at the Toyota store, of course, which all you know about, about Toyota, right? Um, so you guys know I do the, the videos on showing you all these Toyotas and and making sure that you guys know everything that you can do on uh, on these uh, Toyotas. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys where I was at kind of in relation to where the blast was. And like I said, I was, I was gonna kind of walk down there and do a, a video from the, you know, kind of the epicenter. And I might still do that but I want to let the authorities kind of figure out what they're going to do. And, you know, maybe once uh, some things settle down, I know it won't be the hot news at the point or whatever, but once they settle down, then I, I think I might do something then. Um, I, I'm not really sure. So um, it, it's, it's fluid for what I want to do at that point too. So I'm just going to get a video out here so that you guys can kind of understand where I'm at, like I said, in relation to, and I'm walking over towards Broadway here so you guys can kind of get an idea of uh, where Broadway is and kind of how it goes down. I'm, I'll show you a couple other things to kind of get an idea of Nashville too. So um, so if you're, if you're looking at a map, so if you're looking down, you can kind of see um, the the McDonald's down there, just behind there, there's a clock tower. That's right in the very center, like right there. Um, that that little clock tower is Union Station. Um, you'll see a hill with the green lights as you go down past that hill right there. You go, uh, going over top that hill, you'll pass like 8th Avenue, uh, Rosa Park. So um, that's about halfway to where it happened. So, um, you know, and then uh, obviously from 8th, you go down to 2nd, and then it would be on the left side of the road where it happened. So, um, like I said, just giving you guys kind of a reference to, uh, to where it is. So, um, obviously, it's kind of a, a weird situation. Um, the dealership, uh, and, and I know a lot of the people around here, um, their AT&T service went off. Um, our internet at the dealership went down completely. It's still down. Phones are down, stuff like that. Um, it's, you know, there's, there's no damage to anything here. Um, obviously there's damage down there, of course, but, um, there's no damage to any structure or anything like that here. It's just, uh, more or less an inconvenience here. Um, but obviously down the, uh, way there. Um, there's, you know, a lot of, uh, destruction, 40, 41 buildings, something like that, um, that were damaged. And I guess the thing was, uh, and I've heard it, so I can't really, I'm not really speculating on this, but it was broadcasting. Um, if you can hear this evacuate immediately, this RV is going to blow up and which is kind of strange to think about that it was doing that, but I don't think the people that did it wanted to hurt anybody because last I heard there's possibly one dead and three injured. Um, a blast that size from what, if you look at the videos, you'll see the blast size. A blast that size could have really hurt people. They did it on a day they knew that nobody was down there and they did it on a day or, or did it in a way that was meant to minimize casualties. So um, I guess if you look at uh, 
something that definitely could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse if it had uh, uh, been on a weekday or something like that. Because that whole area, I mean, if, if you're there, you know, there's bars on that road. There's a lot of restaurants down there. Um, there's uh, Honky Tonks. Uh, uh, actually, on second, the Wild Horse is down there. There's a Hooters down there. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of businesses on that road so um, it could have been a lot worse if you had the normal traffic that wasn't a Christmas day on on that road so um, like I said just giving you guys an update as to where I'm at and what I'm you know what I know everybody's got a speculation everybody's talking about oh we heard this we heard it was uh, you know these people that people and, and I, I have no doubt that everybody's gonna hear everything um, my biggest thing to try to tell people is try to save your judgment and uh, don't rush to judgment on anything until, you know, let the investigators do the job and figure out exactly what's happened. Um, they're usually pretty good at figuring it out. So um, that being said, I'm going to try to reserve my judgment. Like I said, it's very hard because I've got a lot of ideas. It's very, very hard to re reserve that judgment and to not say, I got an idea because I do. I got ideas, but I'm not going to say that. You guys can definitely put them in the comments if you want to, but uh, um, like I said, I know that there's a lot of you out there that watch my videos. I appreciate every one of you. Appreciate all the subscribers and uh, all of you guys that uh, um, always, uh, you know, comment. You guys are great. I appreciate every one of you guys. Um, plan on doing some things for you guys here in the new year. So, um, but uh, we're gonna have some fun. Let's put it that way. Um, so stay tuned on that, but uh, definitely like, subscribe. If you got any questions for me on anything I can answer about Nashville, uh, I'll definitely answer it for you. Or if you're looking where locations are or something like that. Obviously, if you want to come buy a car uh, or, or help me have me help you buy a car, obviously, more than happy to do that. Um, I'd love to help every one of you guys. And definitely ask for me when you get here. It's, uh, it's great to see you guys when you come in, but uh, when you say you bought a car from somebody else, it kind of stings a little. So um, definitely let me know if you guys want to come in and buy a car. Very easy to work with, as, uh, as I think you guys probably noticed. So um, let's Steve Welch, downtown Nashville, um, Beeman Toyota. Let me, go, let me know uh, if you guys have any questions. Um, but once again, like, subscribe. Appreciate every one of you guys. And uh, definitely take care. And if you're in the Nashville area, uh, my thoughts are with you guys as well. So uh, if you've been directly affected, um, definitely, uh, you know, my thoughts are with you guys as well. So see you well, Toyota. You guys have a great day.